Hey, what is up guys? Issa here bringing you guys another Genshin Impact video and we got some big news. 1.4 update is coming real soon, mid-March. I think it's March 17 if I'm not mistaken. And it looks incredible. So let's go a little bit over 1.4. So what makes 1.4 so special is that there's a lot of new things coming, like new events happening. And we're getting a new character as well, Rosaria, who's coming in 1.4. So I don't know if you guys are excited about Rosaria, but she's a new four star that's coming. So anyone who wants to grab her up and has a you know, couple extra inter intertwined fades, and if you want to like test your luck, see if you get Rosaria. So she looks pretty cool. She's a, a cryo uh, spear user. You know how it goes, polearm user. Now, the event is going to be from mid-March, I believe, till mid-April. That's what it's saying here. And we're going to be able to get up to 1,000 Primo Gems from the update, which is really, really nice, guys. My free-to-play players out there, my low-budget players, this is a good time. The Wind Bloom event is going to be incredible. And now this whole, like, Wind Bloom uh, festival that's happening, Monsat's pretty much going to be getting a special design during that this whole event period so it's going to be really really sick so i really encourage you guys to check out that trailer i'm going to link it in this uh in the description below so you guys can check it out um i literally looked at the uh genshin impact trailer for 1.4 i was like wow this looks amazing i was so excited when i saw this oh man of course the big part of 1.4 is venti is coming back so there's going to be a venti rerun starting on march 17th so he's coming back and he's going to be the main obviously the main person of this whole festival the main the main man the myth the legend venti is going to be the main person of the wind bloom festival just like zhao in the lantern right festival so we're going to get another animal god you know animal based god venti on here so that's really really exciting the next thing that's happening is we're going to be having mini games during this event. We're going to be having three different kind of mini games. So one of the mini games is actually the uh, there's this festive anecdote quests happening where we can do these like different NPC filled side quests for like primo gems and different rewards, which is really really cool. And one of the really cool mini games we have is the bullseye balloons. Now this looks really really fun. Uh, obviously you guys are going to be using your archers and you know sniping some balloons getting those nice primo gems and other really really amazing goodies and the other event which i'm actually the most excited about this mini game is my favorite one is the ballad of breeze the ballads of breeze now this is a music event so it's going to be sort of similar to like um it's kind of like a timed music event which is really really cool so we're going to be playing a lyre and going with the timing and the rhythm of the lyre. And to me, that's so, so cool. And there's going to be three different difficulties. There's going to be normal, hard, expert. So obviously, with the higher difficulties, you're going to be getting higher rewards, which is really, really sick. I'm very excited about that. Now, we also have a floral freefall minigame, which is going to be similar to like, you know, the Amber's gliding kind of mini games that we have. It's going to be sort of that. And you're going to be collect collecting... Uh, flower balls while you're free falling to get the most amount of points to get the best rewards so the more points you get the better rewards you're going to get and it doesn't really say what kind of rewards we're getting but i'm going to guess like hero wits probably mystic enhancement cores um possibly like primo gems that that would make sense so that's very very exciting and i kind of like like this whole event like with the whole mini games and everything it, it gives me like that carnival kind of like vibe to it and i'm really digging it that's why when i saw it i was like dude this looks really festive and really fun now there's going to be a new domain that's going to be coming out it's going to be called the i think it's a it's an abyss floor actually so the abyss floor is called the abyss herald and i believe that's going to be another like new like segment that we can sort of challenge ourselves. and i'm not sure what the rewards are for that but it's going to be a new floor now we're going to be able to get a free four star weapon from this event and that free four star weapon is called the wind bloom ode which is a weapon you can actually use for one of your archers you can use it for venti it's pretty much made for venti so you can use it for venti and that to me is so so cool so if you don't have like the skyward harp or you don't have an amos bow or you don't have any other like you know five star bows or um one of the black cliff uh, war bows you can definitely use that bow on Venti. And I think that's really, really cool. It's kind of similar to when we got the Albedo sword. 
um, the Festering Desire. So we're going to be able to get a free four-star weapon, which is really, really awesome. And last but not least, the other rewards we're going to be able to get from this event is, of course, Primo Gems, Mora, Talent Materials, Weapon Ascension Materials. We're actually going to be able, we're also going to be able to get a Crown of Insight, Dust of Azoth, Hero's Wits, and Mystic Enhancement Cores. So, I mean, this is just... This is, I mean, we don't even know. There's, There might be more stuff in this event, but this is what we have covered so far. Now, what I'm most excited about that I want to tell you guys is the Hangout event, also known as Genshin Impact becoming a dating simulator. Now, why this is so exciting is that I haven't really seen any other gacha games do something like this. I think this is so freaking cool and so unique. I saw it and I was like, dude, no way. Okay. This is this is actually ridiculous. No way. They're doing it. So pretty much we're going to be able to do the hangout events with uh Bennett, like we can do it with Bennett, Chongyun, Noel or Barbara. Those are the four different characters. So if you're a chick and you're like, "Hey, Chongyun, Bennett or Barbara, Noel or if you're a dude, you're I think you can romance all of them, which is kind of crazy." And you get rewards out of it too. And there's multiple different endings. So there's different dialogue portions that are going to be there. So pretty much you're going to be able to do this multiple times and get multiple different rewards. That's what she said. <laughs> based on the ending you have. And you can do all the endings for all four characters. And to me, that is so sick. Like, I'm so excited about that. So yes, Genshin Impact is not a... Uh, it's not an RPG game anymore. It's actually a dating simulator. So, yeah, guys, welcome to Genshin Impact. This is a new dating simulator game. This is uh, the main husbando here, Xiao. So, yeah, um, <laughs> that's pretty much the updates on 1.4 so far. Um, let me know if I missed anything. All right. And as my good friend Noel said, we're going to be getting a new boss and a new Oceanid pet. So we're going to be getting sort of similar to the Sealy that we got from the previous event, the Pink Sealy. Um, uh, we're going to be able to get an Oceanid pet, which is really, really awesome. And guys, not only is Venti coming back, but I can't believe I forgot to mention this. Child is coming back. So for all you guys who are going nuts over Child or Venti or both. You have the chance to summon for both of them, which is so, so freaking hype. And on Child's Banner, you're going to have Rosaria. So the only problem I have with that is it's not really a problem, but I'm a little annoyed at that. I wish Venti was on or not Venti, but I wish Rosaria was on the Venti Banner. I feel like that would have maybe made a little more sense, but or Rosaria on the Child Banner is cool. But yeah. But we are getting child back, so if you guys have not already like gotten child and you really want him and you've saved up a bit, definitely test your luck, man. Um, if you're on the 50-50 like me, you may get yeeted, but listen, these are the couple characters that I want. I want Mona, Diluc, or Venti, or child. I'm cool with any four of those. But if, if I get another copy of Jean or Chi-Chi... I'm be a little sad. Okay. I'm be a little sad. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't mind my girl Chi Chi, or not my girl Chi Chi, but my girl Jean. But Chi Chi dupes. Ah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I'm cool with C Zero Chi Chi. <laughs> Guys, that was pretty much the 1.4 update. If I miss anything, definitely let me know. But I'm really excited about 1.4, specifically for the Hangout event, which is pretty much the dating simulator event. I think that looks that that's just so unique and looks fun. So I hope you guys enjoy 1.4. And guys, make sure to follow me on Twitch, subscribe to the YouTube, like the video, and you already know your boy Isa is out.